Hi guys, it's me Thriftastic Mom and today I'm doing a different kind of video. I'm doing more of a crafty video. I had posted these two ornaments here that I made a few weeks ago on my Instagram and one of my followers asked me would I show them how I made these Christmas ornaments. Now these are nail polish ornaments that I made and I just got two different kinds here with different textures and I thought they turned out pretty good and I got a lot of nice comments on how they looked on my Instagram so I thought I would share with you guys and for her also and show you kind of how I done them. They're really simple. First thing you're going to need is these clear balls and I found these at Walmart actually. You get eight of them for like $5.88. They're the hol holiday time collection and they're just, to me they're just the right size. I don't like really massive um, ball ornaments on my tree. So I picked them up and you get eight of them. To me this is this is actually the cheapest I have found them because they're a little bit um, more pricier at the Hobby Lobby. Haven't checked Michaels though but you get eight of those for like $5.88 so that's a good deal. And of course you need nail polishes of your choice. I am going to be using some silvers. I got two of them here. I got this pretty purple one that pulls up some greens and gold. In there is really really pretty also on my water marbling you know I got this little uh, throwaway bowl here full of water I'm going to be using and just something to you know keep from paint from getting everywhere I got a few pieces of paper laying down now, this here comes in handy it's just an egg crate and when I get through with my ornaments I put them on my egg crate like this and it lets the excess um, paint you know go down into the hole here and it just helps let them dry and that's the way I leave them set for like two days and make sure usually it don't even take two days with nail polish because nail polish is pretty quick but you know a lot of times you have a little bit excess nail polish over in your ball and it needs to come out so it takes a little longer for it to dry so I usually let them sit about two days before I try to even mess with them or anything but I'll leave them sitting in that egg crate and they'll drain out and dry and it's perfect. It works great. Also on the water marbling, you just need a little toothpick just so you can kind of clean out the water. You'll see that as I go. I also got some fingernail polish remover here because, you know, you'll need this for any cleanup of your hands or anything like that when you get done with this project. So now we are going to get started. Let me show you how I did my ornament balls. Okay guys, I got my top took off here, so I just got my plain ornament. I'm going to go and try this purple color here, and let me show you how it works. Make sure you got a good half bottle or more of nail polish, because you don't want to get halfway through this project. Okay, I'm just filling up my ball with some nail polish. And you don't want to get halfway through this, um, halfway through this project and run out of nail polish. Okay. That may be too much, that may not, we'll see. And you see it's just in here and then I just start twirling it around. Look at them pretty, can you see them pretty golds in there? That's so pretty. But anyway, I just start running it around. Just like that, letting that polish. It's probably not gonna be enough, I'll have to put more. But that's fine. That's the way you just keep doing it. You just keep running it around your ball until you get the whole ball covered. You may have to move it back and forth different ways, of course. Look how pretty that is already. As you can see, the ball is completely covered, and it's, it's beautiful. Normally, when you turn this upside down, any little like dark spots here that you see in the ball... All this is going to pour out, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then you'll just have a nice, smooth, textured ornament. And you won't be seeing lines in your paint. So I just stick it upside down. See there? The excess will come out. Just like that. You're going to, it's hard not to have excess because, you know, if you add a little bit at a time, you don't have too much wasted. But you're still going to have a little bit of excess that comes out of the ball and just leave it sitting just like that upside down and let it dry now i am working on my silver one here it's really pretty though i've already did this one it turned out really nice 
I've got it soaking over here. Okay, guys, I got my other th my other balls setting up and kind of letting some of the excess pour out of them. I'll show them to you at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and do my little like water marbled felt <laughs> effect look here. But I'm going to use totally different colors. And you just keep kind of dropping your colors in. Come on. There you go. Look how it's just making more colors. But anyway, it's pretty much what you do. I'm not no professional. And see how it starts drying? So you can't, you know, wait forever. Because you want to kind of pull these colors around and mix them up. This looks like it's going to be a fail too. See how it'll start sticking. And I just kind of dip my ball in and pick up as much color. And this thing isn't, I'm going to do it again because it's not as bright as I want. And I'm just going to hold this for a minute and let it dry because I don't want nothing to stick to my cardboard over there. And I'll sit it over here and let it dry. I changed my water because my water was getting a little cold. This one might turn out good. There it goes. It's starting to spray a little. There we go. That's what we want it to do right there. Put another one of these. Some more of this one. These big brush ones work good. Now that see that water's right. That water is doing good because it's it is spreading and carrying on like it's supposed to. Just take this and kind of draw through it like so. Get a little design in it. And then I'll take my little clear ball here and roll it around in that. Ooh, I like the way that looks. I'm having a hard time getting a hold of it. That's pretty. I'll add some more, of course. I love those colors together. That's pretty. I wish I could get this down pat where I could really make it pretty. You have to really practice with it, though. I've seen someone here where they make flowers and all kind of stuff. Just designs of flowers. There we go. The whole ball's almost covered. Looks cute. That's pretty much the purple ones. They turned out pretty good. Now I'll clean them up. Um, the silver one. See, I got paint on that one too. The silver one here, I could have used a little more silver, but I run out. Um, I could have used a little bit more deeper coat. You can kind of see through the silver a little bit. But it turned out fairly good. I could still use it, or I can either get more silver and touch it up. So you definitely need to make sure you have enough paint or enough fingernail polish, whatever you're using, to cover the ball and coat it well. I didn't get to do another one of these because I didn't have enough of the nail polish left, and I was afraid I'd end up wasting, um, wasting the ball or you know wasting that nail polish. So I didn't do another one. But it's pretty much the same technique as what I did, you know with any nail polish you have. Now these here, of course, was my water marble one. And you can see this one here didn't turn out half as good as the second one I did. See all that pretty detail in this one? I like that one. That's all of my ornaments, guys. That's the ones I did to start out with to show you. And see, I'm really happy with this one. This is the first one I did. Even though the the water marble wasn't perfect, I still like the way it looks. Um, I love the purple ones, and I love the silver one. And I like this one. 
I think it's pretty. I like it. So that is my ornaments. And of course you can use solid regular colors, you know. I just kind of show you trying to show you a little variety of different things. You know, just use your imagination. I can make um if I had you know some really nice Christmas colors to use or some paints to use. I can really make some nice ornaments and and there's professional looking ornaments too you know when you do them on the inside like that so anyway I hope you enjoyed my little craft session here and uh, enjoyed seeing me make some of these Christmas ornaments um, if you make any let me know send me a picture to my email or something and let me see any ornaments you make I love watching craft videos anyway but Leave me some comments below, like up this video if you liked it, and subscribe to me if you ain't subscribed already, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!